Hey guys, let's talk about Tony Danielle Clark. Tony was born on June 4th, 1972, and she's been missing since March 16th, 1990 from Oakland, California. At the time of her disappearance, she was 17 years old, 5 feet 3 and 110 pounds. She's an African-American female with black hair and brown eyes. She has gaps between her teeth. She has a mole on her left calf and a scar on her right knee. Her ears are double pierced. Tony was two months pregnant at the time of her disappearance. Tony left a cousin's home in Oakland, California to drive back to her family's residence in San Francisco, California on March 16, 1990. She was driving her boyfriend's Chevrolet Camaro, which she had trouble starting when she left. It kept stalling. The car apparently stalled again on the San Francisco Bay Bridge sometime during the evening. Another car collided with Tony's vehicle prior to 12 a.m., Police arrived just six minutes later and found that Tony was not inside the vehicle after the accident. Assuming that the impact of the collision swept her into the water below, the U.S. Coast Guard dragged the bottom of the bay. Tony was not located, and neither were her clothes. No blood, hair, or oil residue was found in her vehicle either. Her mother has stated that she received a phone call approximately one week after Tony disappeared from a young woman she believes was her daughter. The girl was crying on the line for approximately 40 seconds before the call was terminated. Authorities were unable to trace the source. The majority of officials maintain that Tony drowned the night of the car accident, but her case remains classified as that of a missing person. Some witnesses reported seeing an African-American man looking under the Camaro. Others saw the man leaving the scene. No one saw Tony's body going over the bridge railing. Her bracelet, which was never removed, was found on the passenger side floorboard along with her car keys. The man who ran into Tony's car was tried for vehicular manslaughter but acquitted for lack of evidence pro proving Tony was in fact dead. Some reports may state that Tony resided in San Bruno, California. She was a high school senior in 1990. She enjoyed swimming and dancing and ran on her school track team. Her case remains unsolved and is classified as a possible non-family abduction. If you have any information, please call the San Bruno Police Department at 415 877 8965 or 415-877-8977.